Hey horse lovers. So I'm super excited. I'm heading to Equine Affair. We got to the hotel last night. We're gonna be here for two days. I'm so excited to see all the horses, the shopping, the demonstrations, and I can't wait to take you along with me. All right, I'm getting ready to go right now. So excited, heading in right now, got my stamp, let's go. Grabbing my goodie bag for samples. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. There are so many vendors here. Look at all these Western saddles, tons of Western saddles, lots of accessories. Look at these sparkly stirrups. Then they had just like a bunch of really big booths. They had a bunch of different things, purses, wallets, anything you can really think of is here. Another booth with more Western saddles. They had a lot of pony and kid ones too. This one's adorable. Literally endless stuff. Like I'm gonna be spending a lot of money. <laughs> they had mounting blocks, all kinds of supplies, tons of halters. I love halters. Look at these, that is so cute. This one looks like cotton candy. I could literally be here all week long. <laughs> I love these innovative shoes and the colors. Then I was checking out these grids for mud control. We're looking into getting some next year. So awesome. Tons of things, apparel, jewelry. Then I came upon DP Saddles. I absolutely love this brand and I was checking them out. Oh my gosh, they're really good quality, amazing saddles. So oh I was gosh, looking at yes. them, checking out the that accessories so and then it was I super cool. I got to sit in about four of them. I am definitely I interested so in buying one. Not sure if I'm gonna get one this weekend uh they range from anywhere from 25 to like six thousand dollars but they're really unique and i honestly really want one for the trails they're set up and designed really nice they have different tree sizes just extremely comfortable oh my goodness i was so happy i was finally able to sit in one i've heard so much about them i've seen them but i haven't been able to get my hands on them and as a saddle fitter i think they're amazing quality they have great craftsmanship and they're just really unique. That's gorgeous. I like this one. The only thing I don't like is I have such short legs that the flaps are a little long. But it's so comfy. It reminds me of the last saddle, the seat. Okay, more shopping. Tons of totes. I thought those were really cool. Just looking at all the different vendors it's not super super busy quite yet because i got here early and it's friday but i love high horse i'm so excited they had these really like these weather beta pads too super fun colors they had these stall doors these look really good quality i really like them then i went into champion saddlery they just had a array of different things all kinds of stuff riding apparel girths love these girths i love the anatomical ones so i've been looking at getting a few of those had a bunch of saddles. These are some Bates saddles. So I like Bates, they felt like good quality. The only thing is they have heart and care and I prefer wool flocking. I am looking for a new hunt saddle though. Then they had all these other things, equipment, just everything. It was so fun to see lawn mowers. Whatever you can think of was definitely here. And it's just really nice to see everything. Went over to the Beamer booth. I love the Beamer blankets. My horses get these treatments all the time, love it. If you like to shop, Equine Affair is definitely a place to go. I was looking at this little dressage bridle. I thought it'd be good for Jafar, but it was pony sized. And he actually has more of a draft head. Then they had state line tack. So I went in here, looked around for a little bit. Okay, let's go meet some horses. That was super fun. All the shopping was great. All right, so I'm heading into the barn where they have all the expo horses, the demo horses, they have some for sale, and they're also holding an adoption event today for horses. So let's go check out and see what's available. This is a great way to get eyes on the rescue horses and you know, a potential to get them adopted. I love that. This one was so cute, how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so some of these horses are available for adoption, so we're gonna check them out. I thought this horse was so pretty, absolutely beautiful color and markings. They had a bunch of standard bread, some quarter horses, some Mustangs, just super cool to see all of them. Absolutely sweet and precious. I love that they're putting this on. This is such a great place to do this. He was so cool. He was like a spotted draft. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that sweet baby. That one was adopted. And some mini horses ready for this. Look at Tyrion, oh my gosh, he was adopted, so that's lovely. This one was not available for adoption. This was just someone's horse, gorgeous Appaloosa, of course I love. 
and then look at this fjord for sale now he's for sale he's a stallion he was super cute oh i love seeing the fjord so fun okay let's check out some of the others and i will show you some other horses for sale too oh gypsy banners okay guys i want a gypsy so freaking bad i've wanted one forever seeing all of them i'm like asking are they for sale are they for sale like i have my budget for one i want one so bad but i'm waiting waiting for the right time and the right one and the right moment because i'm super picky but oh my gosh all of them were stunning all of their breeders were so phenomenal and so kind this is literally my freaking dream horse i mean he was a stallion but oh my gosh his color his eyes his temperament like he is perfection he's flashy literally obsessed love this one too I just cannot handle it. I loved seeing them, but I was like, ah, it's just igniting my desire to get a gypsy. I like the size. They're bigger than the, the traditional. Ones, yeah. yeah. Okay, now we're going to look at some Frisians and some Frisian crosses. Look at Caspian. Just stunning. They had some halflingers. Those were really fun to see. I used to own a halflinger. I love them. I think they're awesome horses. So cool. Yeah, and the setups and the displays for the breeds were absolutely beautiful. It was really fun to see those too. Now, of course, I'm going to watch the Gypsy Banner breed demo, so I hope you enjoy this. But the breed is based on body type, not color. Any color and pattern, including solid colors, are acceptable. Often referred to as a people sized draft horse. It has a lot of breed characteristics of the large strand horses and a smaller, much more manageable package. These sturdy horses come in with all colors and a large percentage has been a lot. Then I watched the Spanish Barb breed demo, so that was fun to see. And then Warwick Schiller was giving a clinic demo as well. So he's one of my favorites, super fun to watch. Okay, so I just bought this coat because I was super cold. And I watched some demos, went really good. I just watched Warwick Schiller. And now I'm just walking around shopping for a little bit longer. Then I think I'm gonna go look at the horses again. Okay, so I'm going back into the bar to check out the horses again. Look at this super cute 10 month old Gypsy Vanner Colt for sale. He's a silver buckskin and he's absolutely adorable. <laughs> he's taking a little nap. Okay, had to look at more gypsies because obviously I'm obsessed. And then they had these drum horses. So this is Penelope, a drum horse used to carry the queen's drum. So they're really cool. They're a lot larger than gypsy banners, but they do have some similar characteristics. Absolutely beautiful. This is another gypsy banner. Love the coloring. Just stunning. I mean, look at that. I love the markings. I love the flashiness. Love the mane and tail. Just so gorgeous. Shady Springs had a lot of absolutely stunning horses, like all of them. They look like fairy tale horses. I loved seeing them. I hope that you're enjoying this too. I really like that at this expo, they have so many different breeds that they're demonstrating, so many different types of horses, a lot of shopping. It's just really cool to see the variety and to see the demonstrations. This was Shady Spring setup, super pretty. And I really liked this setup as well. Just absolutely gorgeous, the Frisian one. <laughs> we have to say hi to Caspian again, hello. And then look at this absolutely gorgeous pony for sale. I was extremely tempted. She is so cute. Her name is Sydney. I love her markings. She's absolutely darling, but I'm just not quite ready to get another horse. Of course, looking at more gypsies, big surprise. <laughs> love it. Okay, so I think this is gonna wrap up today, but we are gonna come back tomorrow. Okay, so it's day two of Equine Affair and I have my husband Kyle with me. Cannot wait. All right, so it's day two. This is a building that I did not go in yesterday. So they had a bunch of like farm equipment. They had trailers. They had more like decorations. They had some like larger barn supplies. So we're gonna check all of that out and show you. They did have some apparel as well in this building, plus tack. This was all Western pony tack, which I thought was super cute. Loved all the sparkles, loved the color was tempted to buy but I have so much tack right now that I was like ah okay I'll wait but yeah it was really fun to see it all I think it's absolutely beautiful so many things to choose from like it's a little overwhelming but also really exciting and really fun especially that you have so many options I 
thought this horseshoe art was amazing. That right there was $12,000 and it sold. So cool, but also really crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna check out some horse trailers. So we are looking to get a new trailer in the next year or two, along with a brand new truck. I wanna buy them both together. I'm like, if I'm gonna spend the money, let's just do it. But yeah, so we're just checking them out, kind of getting a feel for what brand we want. We do want living quarters, but we don't know how big of living quarters we would want. So we're just shopping to get more of an idea. So we're gonna walk through a few of them and show you. Plus they're just really fun to see. I love how all of them open up into the horse trailering area. A three or four. So that's really cool. We definitely would get a three horse and it's just really fun to see them. They're so nice inside. I really like more of like the gray and white tones personally. So I think those are really like cool. And I think we'd really enjoy it once we got one, but I'm totally happy with what I have now. But since we're going to be doing so much camping and trail riding um, the next few years, I think it would be a really good investment and be very comfortable for the horses as well. This fender was awesome. They had jump blocks, mounting blocks, corner feeders, big equipment, so that was cool. Kyle wanted to try on some hats. I, like I, I don't like it. So I'm back in the building that I was in yesterday, but there's still so much to see, so I'm gonna show you more during day two. Oh, the shopping, it was just crazy. I love this purse, thought it was super cute. There's just so many things, so many things to show you. Look at this big model horse. So funny. I love that. It's hilarious. Also, if you're enjoying this, horse lovers, don't forget to like and comment so that the channel will grow. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys like seeing everything. I have a clear obsession with saddle pads. Like, I'm so drawn to them. I could literally have 50 million and be completely happy. But I'm not letting myself buy any saddle pads. I already have so many. Oh my goodness. But there's so many cute ones. It's so hard. <laughs> Again, look at the endless amount of Western saddles. That one was really pretty. It had sunflower tooling, super gorgeous. And then of course the high horse saddles, which are some of my favorite brands. Kyle really wants to learn how to drive and get a mini driving pony. So we are checking out carts. <laughs> I think it'd be really fun. Then there were all these super colorful boots, every color and pattern you could think of. And then Kyle wanted these chaps and I was like no I'm You're sorry they're too those. ugly <laughs> I'm so mean but yeah they just had so many different like apparel items clothing jackets just everything I really love the seat of the saddle it's so sparkly really really cute going into another area just looking at all their stuff they have some reins more bridles more girth they have hay bags grooming bags buckets really really fun Okay, let's meet more horses. Okay, so we're gonna meet even more horses. I'm gonna show you a few of them and then Kyle wasn't able to see all of them. So we might see some again, but there's still a ton more. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so right now we're looking at the Shires. So these are very large horses, draft type horses. And oh my goodness, look at this mom and baby. He is so fuzzy and absolutely precious. Love seeing that. Mama is absolutely gorgeous. Shires are just amazing horses. I think they're so cool. Then we saw this baby calf. Oh my gosh, I cannot even handle the cuteness. So these are Dexter cows. Oh my goodness, absolutely precious. Like I cannot even handle it. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so now we're gonna look at a few more horses. They're all so beautiful. I just love seeing them. This is Chloe. She performed so in Fantasia last night, did awesome. Another one of his horses, the owner's name is Luke. They're both absolutely precious and so friendly. And then we saw these really cute mini horses. They also performed in Fantasia. They did Liberty and so did this Arabian. Really, really sweet. This is Rico, he's a Frisian stallion, very talented. And then look at this beautiful gem. All the horses look fantastic. And oh my goodness, these minis are so cute. Comparing them to this Clydesdale. So they performed in Fantasia as well and they are absolutely adorable. Like I can't handle it. They said we could pet them. So we're just spending a little bit of time with them. Look at this cutie, I love the roan color. This one was one of Kyle's favorites. 
And then there was a super precious Appaloosa one. Oh my gosh. Then there was another beautiful Shire. I love the dapple color, just so pretty, beautiful. And then we met this gorgeous Grula Mustang gelding. Isn't he precious? I also want a Mustang. I definitely plan to get one in the next one to three years. This guy was so friendly and so sweet and he's absolutely stunning. Then there was this beautiful roan quarter horse and we got to meet some of the other drill team horses as well the drill team was amazing and oh my gosh i got to meet my favorite one this beautiful appaloosa mare her name is lucy most of you know i'm obsessed with appaloosas and she is just great the way she performs the way she moves her temperament her build her color she's just absolutely precious so i'm so happy that the owner was phenomenal and so fabulous and let us pet her spend some time with her absolutely wonderful she is so loved and this is just why i love appaloosas they're just so amazing such a great breed love it okay we're gonna look at some more mustangs they are all so cute we're doing the mustang challenge and it was just really fun to see them look at this gorgeous roan one they are all absolutely precious. I think it'd be so cool to be able to work with and train a Mustang. And it's definitely on my to-do list someday. It's one of my goals. But seeing them, it's just, it's really cool. They're just such amazing horses. They have such good temperaments. They're sturdy, they're beautiful, they're friendly. Really fun to see them at Equine Affair. I think it's a great way to, you know, talk about them and kind of get them out there and show what they can do. And gosh, look at them. They're just so gorgeous. Then there was a super cute mini. Then we saw this lady getting on her Frisian. She's about to do a demo. Absolutely beautiful. I love costume. So fun to see that. Another Frisian. And then we saw this sparkly Arabian getting ready to go demo. Well, I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me to Equine Affair in Ohio. It was a super awesome time. We had so much fun. There were so many different things to do. There's gonna be one in Massachusetts in November. But thanks again, horse lovers, and I'll see you next time. Bye.